Hello and welcome, this is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more Into the Breach. And with this team, so far we've had a perfect score, we've saved everyone we could and every mission, and we've been doing a pretty good job maintaining our power grid as a result. I have one more choice to make, I believe, before the rest of the island gets destroyed. So I'm going to go to the Dust Bowl, as I do want to get that power grid up, as we do have an achievement for that. Let's see what our objectives are, though. And battle with less than four mech damage. All right, we'll try for that, but I, again, I'm going to try and maintain my power grid, so I'll take damage on my mechs to prevent damage to buildings. And then we also have to protect the coal plant, which is our main pr objective here for me to get that power grid up. So let's go ahead and do this. Our island suffered greatly when we turned our terraforming tech against the Vec. Still, we must defend what's left. Okay, so it looks like they're going to spawn away from the building. So there's not a lot of water for me to work with. So that one guy is going to have a little bit of trouble knocking him into the water. But we'll do the best we can. Okay, so our flying unit, I think I'll just put right in the middle. He can fly over this water, so that's not too much of a problem for him. And then our rocket guy, we're going to have a little bit more uh, difficulty. I think we put him again in the middle, a little bit further back. And then I'm going to put the, the steam guy here off to the side because we're going to try and push them into the water if we can. And we'd like to be next to a guy we could do that too. So let's go ahead and confirm these moves. Okay. Well, unfortunately, this guy's not moving towards the water. All right, well, we can kill this guy straight out with the, the rocket guy. So I think that's what we do. We just move to here and we rocket him. Oh, that's right. All right, hold on. I mean, I could still prevent his damage and everything. So let's see what we can do here. Okay. Ah, but I can't move on the mountain, can I? Out of curiosity, will it let me do this attack here? Because I can always undo the move. Yeah, it doesn't let me do that attack. Okay, undo the move. Okay, uh... But I can, I can stop him here, so uh, I'm not too worried about it. I could push him into the wall. Uh, that would do damage to him, so... Let's kill the guy that gives health first. Let's move to here, just in case the smoke cloud does do damage to the building. Kill him. Okay. Then we'll move here. And hop over. We'll grab this guy. And we'll push this guy into the wall. I mean, he's attacking an empty square, so I don't really care about that. But we can uh, push him into the wall here. Doing damage to him. Okay, that should be everything. So this guy's uh, attack was prevented, and the smoke cloud should kill him. So that will be a kill. And then these guys uh, are going to pop up, and we, we should be able to address them. That guy's dead. His attack is harmless. Okay, flying guy, flying guy. So we won't be able to push them into... Okay, so this guy's lobbing onto the building. We're going to obviously want to prevent that. Um, I should be able to just push him into the uh, into the other mountain, um, and we'll move out of the other damage. So, I mean, I could stay right where I am, and I'd push the guy away. I mean, hmm. Let's see what happens if I if I stay where I am. That guy will take damage. That guy will get pushed away. And then I think I just take the, the aircraft to smoke bomb him to uh, do damage to him and kill him. Because, I mean, he only has two health. Uh, we move the this guy here to do damage and kill that guy. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay, so that mountain's gone now. We can't do that anymore. We'll move to here and then I'll just smoke bomb uh, this guy. Which not only, you know, that should just straight up kill him. And then this guy, I'll move to here, and we'll kill this guy. And we are creating more smoke clouds uh, as we move around and things. All right, that should uh, nullify the enemy. Another one down. Okay, we got one of those guys. Let's see what they do here. Okay. Okay. 
All right. The they are going after the buildings here. I should be able to kill both of these guys. So what I'll do is I'll move to here. We'll rocket this guy, pushing him into this guy, doing damage. Then I'll go here, push this guy into that guy, doing damage to both of them. And that should kill both. So uh, let's try that. So yeah, that kills this one. Oh, but this one I won't be able to uh, kill because the, the first guy will be killed by the... Oh, I mean, it's still okay. We could always push the other guy around to make it so his attack doesn't land. So, uh, either way, we're fine. As a matter of fact, we could just push him into the smoke cloud and kill him. So, I don't remember if the smoke cloud kills him, though, before he gets his attack off. Because if I push him that way, he will attack here. We really don't want to risk that, I don't think. So, what I could do... Is just push this guy away, and then we, we kill this guy just to be sure he's dead. Yeah. The other way would have done more damage. Oh, whoops. Um, move to here. Actually, um... Do move. Move to here. I mean, I guess this is this move is okay. Smoke, ah, smoke bomb him, kill him. Then this guy will just harmlessly attack the the mountain. Okay, well, first things first, we can kill the one guy in the water. So, let's just do that now. Okay. Got a little bit of flavor text there. I should be able to prevent all of these attacks, but I'm going to need to figure out... Yeah, so I'm going to need to... Ooh. Oh, okay, uh... Oof. I can I can stop this guy. If I move here, I can stop this guy uh, from doing his damage. So I think that's the right call. And then we smoke bomb the other guy. So this should be the last turn anyway. So okay, now he's hitting the mountain. And then you are just going to move in a spot where you are going to smoke bomb him. Preventing his attack. And then we end the turn. And we've done all of our objectives. This team, I'm, I'm really liking. See, you and the Rusting Hulks weathered the worst of it and survived. Excellent. So we now have a full power grid. And you have just gained two uh, mech hit points. That's very good. And you have gained one mech reactor. Oh, so we pretty much are ready. Um... All right, so we've got the seismic activity, which is going to destroy the rest, and then we have to do the uh, corporate headquarters. Before we do that, um, he just automatically got himself power. So we could do shield self, or we could do flying. What would be more important to me? I mean, flying really just is going to uh, modify how he can uh, cross train, which is great. We could give ourselves health. I mean, I can always allocate the power different places. I think the shield self is a really good one, though, because if we're going to tank shots, I mean, this would make us not take damage, right? So I think we take this one over the flying. As much as flying might be cool, I wonder if he gets more mech reactor. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right. Shield self. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it. Uh, we do have another power, uh, and I could, of course, do something that uh, is two. So I could do uh, shield friendly instead, uh, which I believe you don't have to do these in order. Um, so I could do that if I wanted to, but uh, I think the shield self is better because we can block shots if we need to. So we've got the rocket artillery. And aerial bombs. 
I don't think there's anything that I, I can do as far as this one reactor power that's going to help me for this fight. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we've got to destroy the Firefly Fly leader, something I failed to do last time, and protect the corporate tower. So I'm going to strive more to uh, destroy the uh, Firefly leader, but I should be able to prevent his damage uh, with the this guy here, the jet mech. He should be able to prevent his damage like every turn. So let's go. So Evec Monstrosity is assaulting our tower. We have to rely on you, this final time to help us so here we go he starts out on the map uh, i don't have any water to knock anybody into but i do have a uh, terrain i can knock him into perhaps let's put the jet uh, out front and center um the rocket guy i guess can stay back and we we'll want to put the steam guy fairly close so i'll put him co close to the center as well let's confirm Okay, let's see what happens here. So he's going to try and damage that building. We can prevent that damage. Okay. So this guy we can kill if I can line up the shot, which I should be able to. All I'd have to do is move here and then uh, fire. Um, I could move he go more aggressive and try and kill this guy. Move here. And fire, which would push him here, so he'd take damage. He'd still hit here, though, unless I tank the shot. I would be able to. Uh, ideally, though, we would smoke bomb him. And prevent his damage, but I would be not killing him, of course. So, there's that. I think the right move is... Oh, I just realized, though, if I try and kill this guy, I, uh, I'll actually do damage to the building because I'll push him into it. So I just have not enough movement points to get in a way that I'd... Oof. This is a tough one. Well, I could, I could probably smoke bomb this guy. So we tank the shot, maybe? Hmm. Let me think about that one. Alternatively, I move here, push him in here. I'd still do the, do the damage, obviously. Uh, and we'd get the shield, so I'd be able to tank that. I think the right move, though, is to push here. I push him on top of that, which makes him take damage, which was what I was going to do anyway. Uh, and then I get the shield, which blocks the shot, which is going to go into this building. I think I may have to tank the, uh, the first shot here from the baddie. Okay, well, I think this is the move I'm going to take. So I'm going to move here. We're going to push him here. I'll get a shield, which will stop the damage. You are going to come over here and smoke bomb this guy. Again, preventing the damage. Okay. Here, I think I just have to, I have to tank the shot. So I'm going to move to here. And we'll, we'll push him back. So I'm going to take four damage here. Uh, thankfully, I just got a health upgrade. But he'll take three damage in this one turn. And we'll end the turn. So that guy dies because of the smoke bomb. Shield does, it, does its thing. We're going to... Oh, did I, did I take the damage? Oh. I didn't take damage. Interesting. All right, well, uh, I can do more or less the same thing to him. Uh, which, honestly, seems like a good idea. Uh, if I move this guy here, we could... I might be able to kill him this turn. Yeah, I'll be able to kill him this turn, because I push him here, then I move uh, here or here, it doesn't matter which, and then I knock him into the wall, he gets killed. And then this guy just gets pushed this way, which negates his damage. I mean, I could push him back uh, into a spawner, which would uh, kill him too. The same thing here. We push him into a spawner, that would kill him and prevent the spawn. So, what would happen if I did that damage now? I mean, I could still kill him by pushing him into the wall. Well, honestly, the spawn would kill him too. So, we do this. So he should still shoot me. I'm a little bit confused about why he didn't shoot me last time. Alright, well, either way, uh, he's gonna die. 
because he's on top of a spawn. Uh, I think we just go ahead and... Uh, well, first things first, I want to do damage to this guy um, to... You know, make sure he uh, dies this turn. And then what I'll do is I'll push him as well, which he'll die to the, uh, the smoke spawn. That's interesting that the smoke there... Stop the attack, but even though I pushed him out of it, he still stopped the attack. That's weird. All right. So we might take damage here. But he, this guy's going to die. Now we just have to worry about the two spawn-ins that happened. So this guy's in trouble, but uh, I, I should be able to avoid the damage, I think, from here on out. Okay, so it looks like the shield stays on. So what I'm going to do, because it should... Ooh, I don't want to push, because I push into my own guy and kill him. <laughs> Let's uh, do something different then. Um, if he's going to attack here, then all we have to do is move to here uh, and shoot him, which would push him out of the line. He'd die anyway. Okay. Then I think what I do is I move here, push him into the uh, the spawner, which spawns less enemies. Okay, and then we'll just smoke bomb him to do a little bit extra damage. And... Uh, We'll see. The order of things might be that uh, the spawn happens anyway, but we'll see. Yeah, so the spawn happened anyway, which was I was afraid of, but... Okay, so they're going after the tower. We should be able to prevent that damage. Okay, so... I think we just kill dudes here. I think preventing damage is going to be the key. If I push here... Oh, that was a wrong move. Ah, so I can't push him into the smoke. I was going to do that. Um, okay. I'm not sure I can stop this damage. Because of the smoke cloud. Because I, I can't move in a way that I can uh, do damage to him. Not unless I... Uh... Oh, okay. What I could do is I could move like here and I could purposely just shoot an empty square to smoke bomb him. Because the smoke happens behind me. So, yeah, we can prevent this damage. So if I do that, then the smoke appears uh, where he is, so his attack is stopped. Alright, pretty cool. I don't really have anything that I, I can necessarily do. Um, I could I could kill this guy because the smoke will uh, the smoke will kill him. So we'll do that to lower everybody's health. And I don't really have a move here. Otherwise, I mean, if I could uh, push a guy into a, a, a way that uh, get, makes him take damage would be nice. Uh, in theory, what I could do is I could move here, push him into that, which would do damage. Uh, and then the shield would just absorb the attack. So, you know what? What the hell? Okay, end the turn. He'll take damage. He'll hit my shield. He'll hit the wall. And there we go. So, a uh, successful uh, island where we managed to save every single civilian. I must admit, that was an impressive performance. We will rest easier knowing the Vec monstrosity no longer infests our island. So, we managed to uh, get all our objectives. We got quite a lot of corporate rep in that one. So, let's hit continue here. Okay. You completed every mission on RST despite the odds. You've earned my respect. Rusting hulks and everything we can offer. Okay. So we got a new pilot. 
We have Gemini missiles, range class weapon, launch two missiles, damaging and pushing two targets. Wow, that's that's awesome. It does require two energy though. We get plus two power grid. So I've already just overcharged. Have I not? So let's see uh, if we got that achievement. No, it didn't give it to us, but it's possible I need to do it a different way. I'm not sure. All right, well, let's see what we, we can get here. So first things first, I have to decide on which of these rockets to use. Now, personally, this one does more damage. So in that way, it could be more valuable. But I have to consider the fact that it cost me two energy to use. And uh, the storm generator, I'd have to remove it, perhaps to be able to install this. Now, it, if it's possible for me to install in somebody different, I might want to try that. So let's see. Oh, okay. It's not powered, but I could easily power it as I do have the resources. As a matter of fact, I could power it right now. Um, we'll see about the other thing. So let's go here. So we've got the rocket artillery, the Gemini missile. Um, we've got extra power. So we'll put that in there. Okay. And then... I'm not sure if I got the rewards or not. Maybe after I leave the island, I'll get them. Well, that's... Oh, I had to pick one! Oh, okay. Whoops. Okay, well, that you know, I make that mistake, but we still get a good item here. Uh, I realized I just got one of the rewards. I, I wasn't paying attention there, and I just clicked on one, and I realized now that I was choosing which reward I wanted. So I probably should have picked the power grid because that would have given us our achievement right off, uh, off the bat. But all right, let's spend our reputation. We've got a sale on a frost beam. I don't think I'm going to take that purely because... Target strike. Class an air... Call an air strike on a single tile. Acid tank. Science class weapon. Oak pellets. Alright, I think I messed up there with that, but... We could buy the, the power that we want. Right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't really want any of these items. Uh, we already have pilots. I could sell one of my pilots, which, you know, honestly, I'm not going to probably use them anyway, so. Sure, we'll donate you. Sure, you want to permanently assign the pilot to the island. Grants reputation. Yes. Okay, so we have nine. Let's do the two power grid. So, one, two, and we just got our achievement. And then we'll do um, three, another one of these. You know what? What the hell? I'll buy this anyway. Okay, overpowered grid. If you your power grid is full when it receives additional power, your grid defense will be permanently upgraded. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so... We've got some things to play with, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold that off for the next video. But in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.